Okay, so now we are ready for the last carving, the last printing. So now I, I have carved out the lightest area, the next to the lightest area. So now I'm gonna carve out everything that is not the real dark area. So these real dark areas, and on yours it might be black. I'm, not, I'm going to not carve those out. Everything's gonna come out but those right now. So I'm looking at this, and I'm looking at this. And remember, this is mirror image. So this is this, this is this over here. I'm gonna carve everything out but the really dark areas. So let me proceed. There, now I'm ready for my last printing. And this is why it's called a reduction print, because you are reducing the amount that you print. So now this is just gonna be a little bit that gets printed on my last set of prints. Okay, for my last and final prints, I have chosen to make a dark blue and a dark red and black. So some of these, and you can see these, some of these I'm going to print with black. I think I'll print black on that one. A dark blue on this one. So black, a dark blue, and a dark red on the orange ones. So a dark red. I think I'll do black on that one too. Do a dark blue on this one. I'm gonna do a dark red on that one. I'll do a dark blue on this one. Maybe I'll do a black on that one to be different. And the black on that one. So I'm only going to do a few with dark red. I have to make the dark red and I have to make the dark blue. So I'm going to show you how I make the dark blue. These are going to be black. So I'm going to do dark blue on these. So what I do is I have my blue and I have a little bit of blue left because I'd already printed some others. And I just need a little bit of black because black is overpowering. So I only want to add a little bit of black. Now my black started getting dry. So I had to add a little bit of water. So it's, it's almost too runny, but I think it'll be just fine, especially to mix with the blue. So I only need a little bit of black to mix with that blue. Black is, is a dark, dark color. It's overpowering, so you only need a little bit of it to mix with a lighter color. We're gonna go dark. Now, this blue looks like it had some, uh, the manufactured looks kind of, it's got white in it. It's not a true blue, 
so it's almost a gray. So in this instance, I want to add some more black to it. You can always go darker when you're mixing colors. It's harder to go lighter. It's easier to go darker because you can always add more dark. But if I went too dark, I'd have to try to add blue to that, and it would take forever to get it. So it's easier to go darker when you're mixing colors than it is to go lighter. Oops, oops, be careful. All right, so it's like a dark gray. I think I'm gonna go with it. This is why you make extras, because if you don't like some of them, well, you got some good ones and you got some bad ones. If you only made a few, you wouldn't be able to mess up. And it's easy to mess up when you do reduction prints. Okay, so now, set this down here. That to the side. And I did get it on my hand, so I got it's messy. All right, so here's my prints. We set those to the side. Now, I'm put it on my roller. Get it even on that roller. So I can get it even on here. And there's not near as much that's going to get printed. All right, now remember the hardest part is lining this up. So here we go. Trying to line that up right. So I'm looking at it. Put that on there. Take the other roller and roll that. All right, see what that looks like. Oh, looky there. So see, you always print with the lightest color first, then the next to the lightest, and then the darkest last. There's my finished reduction print with three colors. This one, so you can see what this one looks like. And then I'm going to stop the video and finish my prints, and I'll show you the end result when I'm all done. Lining it up is the hardest part. You've got to be careful when you line them up. If it's upside down, you mess up your print. So, part where you really have to be the most careful is when you're lining that up on top of these other prints. There. Doesn't that look good? One more.
And there it is. So now I've got to clean this up so I can do a different color. And then uh, I'll show you the end result.